Start recording. Stop recording button. Well, hello there, and welcome to the Doctor Who YouTube Target World channel. Uh, yeah, now we're going to discuss. I just noticed what well, I haven't done a video yet on episode five and six of Years and Years. Uh, episode five deals with the sort of decay of Stephen's character from Mr. Nice Guy to really horrible character. We saw see him get involved with really nasty people to get money, more money, and in the end, he's the man who presses the. Uh, button to end up with the Victor character ending up in labour camps and uh, not having a very nice life basically. Victor ends up because of Stephen being so angry about him for killing Danny basically in the early episode. So that sort of hatred bubbles up. We see him more decay in his soul and sort of change throughout the sort of whole episode five. This is very slowly done by Russell T. Owens and it's brilliant. Uh, also we have his daughter being uploaded to the cloud. He gets all the sort of AR she wants and uh, because of being funded by the government, she always has that feeling what well, somebody might be taken back. So we sort of later, does she rebel or not rebel? She's worried that if she does, all her body will be turned off, basically. So we have all that throughout the episode. Uh, we have the way people are suffering, you know, in the camps with Victor and that. So that's sort of interesting. Yes, yeah, so it's a really good episode, episode five. It sort of deals with all the sort of decay of Stephen's character from Mr. Nice to evil, basically. And Rory Kinnear does that so well. Because you think he's sort of, you know, will he be evil, will he won't be evil? And he just basically doesn't care about Victor. He wants to get all his uh, anger of being Danny being killed, you know, because of being in the refugee camps and getting Victor back, basically. He wants that sort of hatred against Victor. But unfortunately, the cliffhanger we see at the end of episode five is his daughter sees him doing that because he's connected to the internet. So we have all that building up. Uh, we have a lot of sort of how the government is unfortunate in real life at the moment. We have a sort of a hatred character who smiles and gets what he wants, basically. And Emma Thompson's character is brilliant as that. And yeah, we also have the Maureen sort of character at play by Anne Reed, who really understands where Danny was coming from. Uh, is you know, but sort of goes with the women in this episode when they turn against Stephen, basically. So that's very interesting. I think uh, episode five just builds that cliffhanger. So then we move to episode six, which sort of builds and builds very slowly. We have um. Edith getting sick by the end of it. We have Muriel, uh, the Anne Reed gives this fantastic speech about how it's all our fault, the way the world's gone, basically. And that make, persuades Rosie to basically unleash everybody out of the uh, areas you're not meant to be in and sort of causes a mammoth riot which works out well. And Stephen eventually comes to his senses and uh, becomes an English teacher and lives in Spain. I think he basically becomes the Danny character. He becomes the nice character again by the end of the episode. But plus we have this sort of cliffhanger that hasn't been resolved. I don't know if it's going to be resolved, where um, we see Edith turn into the cloud because she dies basically because of the radioactive sickness she gets. And Edith is uploaded completely and she becomes a sort of artificial reality, sort of goes into that sort of world. And we see the Amazon speaker on the table in Muriel's house and we don't know if she's going to live or not live. And that hasn't been included anywhere we find out the answer that Russell T. Owens has not really said and he doesn't reckon there's going to be a second series unfortunately so yeah it's really good from start to finish it dealt with a lot of interesting issues the way we live at the moment society uh the fact that it didn't do very well ratings I think still has to do with the fact that you know unfortunately a lot of people can't cope with uh, a main drama that has very you know prominent normal gay characters unfortunately still we still live in quite a parochial society we can't really deal with that in my opinion which i think is a shame because i think the liberal outlook we had in that was really good um i apologize if you can hear any outdoor noise for this video but i have the window open because it's boiling here in exeter so that's why you can probably hear a plane coming in but i um neither the window opens i'd melt otherwise but yeah years and years is now all available on the bbc iplayer it's worth binge watching because it just gets better and better there are some stunning performances from uh, russell toby from um from Rory Kinnear, it's all, you know, it's all the R's here. And of course, Anne Reid is beautiful and fantastic. So binge watch it and enjoy.